Friday, August 11, 2023. First reading. Deuteronomy 4 verses 32 to 40. Moses said to the people, Ask now of the days of old, before your time. Ever since God created man upon the earth. Ask from one end of the sky to the other. Did anything so great ever happen before? Was it ever heard of? Did a people ever hear the voice of God? Speaking from the midst of fire, as you did, and live? Or did any God venture to go and take a nation for himself? From the midst of another nation? By testings, by signs and wonders, by war? With his strong hand and outstretched arm, and by great terrors? All of which the Lord, your God, did for you in Egypt before your very eyes. All this you were allowed to see, that you might know the Lord is God and there is no other. Out of the heavens he let you hear his voice to discipline you. On earth he let you see his great fire. And you heard him speaking out of the fire. For love of your fathers he chose their descendants. And personally led you out of Egypt by his great power driving out of your way nations greater and mightier than you, so as to bring you in, and to make their land your heritage, as it is today. This is why you must now know, and fix in your heart, that the Lord is God in the heavens above and on earth below, and that there is no other. You must keep his statutes and commandments which I enjoin on you today that you and your children after you may prosper, and that you may have long life on the land, which the Lord, your God, is giving you forever. The Word of God. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm I remember the deeds of the Lord. I remember the deeds of the Lord. I remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I remember your wonders of old. And I meditate on your works. Your exploits I ponder. I remember the deeds of the Lord. O oh God, your way is holy. What great God is there like our God? You are the God who works wonders. Among the peoples you have made known your power. I remember the deeds of the Lord. With your strong arm you redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. You led your people like a flock, under the care of Moses and Aaron. I remember the deeds of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel. According to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself. Take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay each according to his conduct. Amen, I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the Son of Man coming in His kingdom. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Reflection Purifying Our Heart's Desire Many people daydream about gaining the whole world, becoming wealthy, or having great power in the world. These desires can be temporary and temporary, but they can also destroy one's eternal soul. The world can refer to material things, 
pride, attention, and praise, as well as the desire for power and control. These desires can be detrimental to one's relationship with God and can lead to wars and conflicts. Obtaining wealth, being publicly praised, or being in a position of power is not evil in itself, but they can lead to selfish reasons and delusion that they will provide fulfillment. However, these situations impose a true cross on those seeking to serve God alone. The responsibility that comes with wealth, prestige, or power is real, and must be handled with detachment and humility. For example, if one becomes wealthy, the precept to live spiritually detached from material things still remains. Material wealth can be used for good, but the danger is real and must be regularly acknowledged. Similarly, when praised or given authority, humility and detachment must increase so that God remains the single object of one's desire. To reflect on one's desires, it is important to work to purify them so that they desire God's will alone. This will not matter if one is rich or poor, publicly praised or criticized, or entrusted with earthly power. All that matters is that one uses all for the glory of God, in accordance with His perfect and fulfilling will. In conclusion, the desire to gain the whole world and pursue worldly ambitions can lead to a loss of eternal soul and a failure to live spiritually detached from material things. It is crucial to reflect on one's desires and work to purify them to serve God and use all for His glory.